Though I can no longer enjoy being with you or speaking with you by phone, please know that you remain in my heart. So many people with metastatic breast cancer are more informed because of meeting you at conferences and or because they read your well-written materials or comments on social media. Your writing skills are amazing. You know that feeling when you meet a legend for the first time? Well, I do, and it was in March 2020 when I got to meet Catherine O'Brien for the first time, and she uh, was going to show me the ropes uh, to the Awareness Task Force and everything about the Metastatic Breast Cancer Alliance, and she was exactly as her reputation said. She was smart, she was sassy, she was funny. Catherine was a bright, creative, patient advocate with a wicked sense of humor. She was generous, not only with her time, but in sharing her life experiences through her writing, through blogs, and through social media. Boy, she has made such an impact. And we are new members of the Metastatic Breast Cancer Alliance, and we hear about all the work and dedication and commitment she has given to this organization. Um, really moving mountains and developing different types of programs like the Here All Year campaign that we worked on and that's how I learned about her and all that she um, did and uh, what a dynamic, uh, powerful individual. She was the most brilliant writer and had the sharpest wit and sense of humor. I will miss the pizzas we get in Chicago during ASCO, and I will miss her brilliance, her determination, and her wit. Catherine O'Brien, AKA KOB, AKA probably only to me, Pipsqueak, I miss you. My favorite memory is always the times we spent as booth buddies at um, metastatic breast cancer conferences. You would always stop by and visit and spend time and cover me while I went to the little boys room. And those times were so special. I saw how much you meant to other patients and to other advocates. And it was just great to be in your presence there. I remember Catherine being quiet but very funny, so I think the lesson that I'll take forward with me is that we should continue to laugh together and enjoy each other. But even more importantly is that we need to continue the wonderful work that Catherine started, and we need to work together so that cancer patients have access to optimal care, and research continues in hopes that one day we can eradicate this disease. What can I say about Catherine O'Brien? other than she was an awesome advocate, a dear friend, and a brilliantly witty lady. A few years ago, she wanted to go to Lisbon to the ABC5 meeting, Advanced Breast Cancer meeting, and I offered to let her share a room with me. So I had the opportunity to introduce her to that meeting and to Lisbon. And we had an amazing time. Again, I got to see a different side of Catherine, and we just really enjoyed that time together, doing crazy things like rearranging our hotel room, going to a grocery store to explore what was in that grocery store in Lisbon, Portugal, and just lots of different things. Her experience really came from her personal situation, and. Um, Catherine could have been spending her time doing many, many things, and she chose to spend the time educating the rest of us about the metastatic breast cancer experience, and we are all the better, richer, and wiser for it. Catherine, being this larger-than-life figure to me when I first met her a few years previously, and um, just having the chance to actually get to talk to her and get to know her a little bit more during that th that conference 
um, really did resonate with me. She was one of the advocates that really taught me the importance of what was important to someone living with metastatic breast cancer. She had a tremendous impact on me through her writing, but also the pleasure and opportunity to get to interact with her via phone, as well as various meetings that um, I would see her at over the years. She was a powerhouse and an inspiration and witty and funny. And through the years of working with her on the different initiatives, at the MBCA, um, including the Here All Year campaign. I know that her work and her legacy will continue. To me, Catherine was a living legend and will always remain a legend in our hearts. She was inspiring, she was committed and about the business of ending stage four breast cancer. I always saw her with a smile with her pack of um, NBC advocates who were also badasses. And she was about the business of getting this work done. Um, she will always remain in my heart. Every time I'd ask her a question, she'd say, go to Catherine. She's exactly the person who can tell you what to do and how to do it. And that was really the beginning of my relationship with Catherine. And over the years, she turned into my person to go to when I wasn't sure who to contact, how to do it, or what to say. She had such a talent with her writing skills, um, her ability to put into words um, what it's like to live with a terminal illness and to use humor um, to allow people to relate to this disease um, was just so wonderful. Memories of meeting Catherine at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium at one of the meals that metastatic breast cancer had. And it was a wonderful time meeting her, the advocacy that she has done with the metastatic breast cancer has been amazing. And I know that we, you know, briefly met, uh, kind of exchanged, you know, where we were at in our uh, past, but um, I could tell that, you know, although we're both quiet people, um, Catherine just had uh, this presence that, that she made um, herself known. Uh, it may not be immediately when meeting somebody, but uh, just knowing what, the, what she's done with the MBCA. We'll have many opportunities to say Catherine's name when we remember and acknowledge all that she did to bring metastatic breast cancer and the stories and faces of those living with the disease out of the shadows and into our living rooms, our workplaces, our conversations, and in the halls of government, so that we never forget all that still needs to be done to end the pain, the suffering, and the dying from metastatic breast cancer. She is such a major influence on so many of us, including me. First, I was like, this person is, <laughs> is, uh, somebody to look up to and uh, impressive basically and I just will never forget that she always made us laugh she always participated and made sure that people understood the importance of always including metastatic breast cancer patients of making sure that she advocated for them and making sure that change happened so we would not continue to lose so many women to metastatic breast cancer I'll always remember Catherine's willingness to help. She's always happy to be a connector uh, and a peer mentor for those newly diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. Uh, she would take calls in the evenings and weekends, uh, always wanting to ensure those newly diagnosed felt supported and that they had someone they could talk to. When I first met Catherine, I was really intimidated by her. She had this amazing sharp wit and always seemed to know the funniest thing to say about any situation she would just cut right to it and make a really astute observation about whatever it was you were talking about and sometimes it would come toward you and and she would just cut through your crap and you would know that she knew exactly what it was behind what you were saying
One life on this earth is all we get, whether it's enough or not enough. But the obvious conclusion would seem to be that at the very least, we are fools if we do not live it as fully, as bravely, and as beautifully as we can. I have so many favorite memories uh, with her sharing a stage at the Living Beyond Breast Cancer conference a few years ago. And I'd say my favorite memory was we were sitting next to each other in the back of the auditorium at a Teresa's Research Foundation for Metastatic Breast Cancer. And we sat next to each other and it was almost like two little kids uh, in elementary school passing notes to each other throughout the entire uh, afternoon of lectures. We did learn a lot that day, but we also had a lot of fun. She was a stealthy advocate, talking about hard realities with candor and humor. She was a gifted writer. She was able to induce tears and laughter in a single sentence. She was a worker. She would roll up her sleeves to build signs or stuff bags, anything that needed to be done just to get the work done. We were so excited to have someone who was as experienced as she was in helping to train and cultivate future ILC advocates. She was a great speaker and I know she would have inspired many, many future advocates. I am so grateful for her friendship and her important advice to the Lobby of the Breast Cancer Alliance when we were a fledgling organization. Catherine's passion for advocating for metastatic breast cancer was infectious. From signing petitions to make changes to SEER, to the videos she made and her fun selfies sharing her journey. Admired her mostly from afar, from a distance, watching her and realizing what a incredibly dedicated uh, advocate she was to breast cancer and especially metastatic breast cancer. She really um, moved the needle and made some awesome contributions to the, to the field as an advocate. I am sure that from her new and limitless vantage point, you know, she's still guiding us and helping us be better advocates in the metastatic breast cancer cause. To her family and friends, let's nourish ourselves with the memories of her strength so that we can overcome all the obstacles that may come our way. She was always so kind and supportive of our conference uh, that we host and, and of course was there in person and, and just the, the, the Im impact she had on that alone um, is lasting. And of course, uh, you know, uh, Metastatic Breast Cancer Network received the award at this year's conference to commemorate uh, all the great impact they've done over the years. And so uh, just uh, thinking of you, Catherine, and uh, thanks to the Alliance for putting this together. Catherine and I were the two Catherines, the first co-chairs of the Metastatic Breast Cancer Alliance's Awareness Task Force. Together, we were charged with educating the public about metastatic breast cancer. She approached advocacy with grace, with humor, with fierce dedication, and she knew how to push when pushing was needed. SEER is changing. The landscape for metastatic breast cancer is changing. And I know I have changed because of my friendship and advocacy efforts with Catherine. Thank you. Until we meet in the next life, I send you my love. She was one of a kind and she will be missed by all. That her work is just living on and being uh, so impactful for this community. Catherine, you will be so missed and thank you for the important work that you started in your lifetime. Catherine. You are missed. Uh, in order to try to effect change, and uh, I am grateful for that lesson from her. Love you, and I will see you on the other side. Catherine, you are missed.